Did you just get a Raspberry Pi 4 and don't know how to set it up? Well, in this video, we're gonna walk through the basic steps to get your Raspberry Pi up and running for the first time. But first, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is John Good, and here on this channel, we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Also, make sure to check out the description for more training and resources. All right, let's do this. Raspberry Pis are the latest and lightweight and inexpensive computers, and people are using them for just about anything you can think of. Basically, a Raspberry Pi is a little small computer that comes as a circuit board, and you can install different modules and things on it, and you can even install operating systems like Linux on it. If you want to learn more specifically about what a Raspberry Pi is, then I'll leave a resource for you to check out in the description. Let's talk about the parts that you need to follow along with this video. You need a Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 8 gigabyte version. You need a micro SD card reader. You also need an SD card. Mine is a 128 gigabyte version. You need another computer so you can talk to the Raspberry Pi and you need an internet connection. Don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description with all of these different parts that you need to follow along with this video. I'll also leave commands in the description so that anything that we do, you're able to do as well and just copy and paste it. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that you have to do on your regular computer, you need to go to raspberrypi.com and then you're gonna to go to software, and then you need to install this Raspberry Pi Imager. This is what we're gonna to use to load the operating system onto the SD card. Okay, go ahead and open the Imager software and plug in your SD card into your computer. We're gonna load the operating system. So we'll select Choose OS, and when I was trying this originally as of the recording of this video, this first option didn't work, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use this other option for Raspberry Pi OS. And then we're gonna use this light version, so the very first option. We're gonna choose storage. Now, any SD card or flash drive that you have plugged in, it's going to actually recognize it in here. And if it does, you need to make sure that you pick the right one because it's gonna wipe anything on that one. So we'll select our SD card. Now press Control Shift X to open up advanced options. And you can set your host name and enable SSH. I highly encourage you to enable SSH. We're going to use it for this video and set a password for the user Pi. You can set up Wi-Fi. You can do your time zone and all these different options. So again, for this one, the most important thing is gonna be the host name and the actual authentication credentials for the user. And then if you're using Wi-Fi, go ahead and do that as well. Hit save and then hit write. And it's going to erase everything. We'll hit yes, and when this finishes, we'll come back. Now we've successfully written the OS to our SD card. Now, if you are running a Windows computer and you get a message like this or on any other computer, do not format the disk. Formatting the disk will wipe everything that we just did, so we definitely don't wanna do that. Go ahead and close that and hit continue. Now you need to eject your SD card, put it into your Raspberry Pi, Plug it in and turn it on. Now we're gonna SSH into our Raspberry Pi. You need that host name that you set in the advanced options when we're configuring things. You also need that password that you set in the advanced options. Now the username is always gonna be Pi. That's not something that you can change, so just remember that. And there we go. We're SSH into our box. So now we're gonna go ahead and update our Raspberry Pi to make sure everything is good to go. And again, I'll leave this command in the description. Now we need to go ahead and reboot our Raspberry Pi. All right, let's go ahead and SSH back in. There we go, we've set up our Raspberry Pi for the first time. So any projects that you wanna do, you're ready to go. Question of the day, which Raspberry Pi projects are you planning on doing? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we walk through the initial steps to setting up your Raspberry Pi for any project that you wanna do. If you decide to do another project after one, all you have to do is start this video from the beginning and walk through the steps again. Remember, as a cybersecurity professional or any technology professional, it's important that you play around with a lot of different technologies and see how they can work in non-traditional ways and then compare it against the traditional ways. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more training and resources, and I'll see you next time.